In which manner should I connect MCB with push button so that if I want to turn off the MCB then just by pressing push button MCB must be turned off automatically. I am going to explain you everything in detail through this video. If you want to turn off the MCB from a distance away then by using push button you can turn off MCB but you have to connect shunt coil with MCB through which we are going to turn off the MCB. If you disassemble the ACB breaker you will find a shunt release coil through which we turn off the breaker. In the same way this shunt release coil works. In this coil you will find two terminals and if you connect phase supply and neutral supply to these terminals and after this if you switch on this coil and switch on the power supply of wires then this shunt release coil will trip. Let's see one more time. I turn this on and after this I am going to turn on the power supply through this socket. When I press this shunt release coil will trip. Means if we provide power supply to these terminals then this shunt release coil will trip. When we want to trip this coil then here a knob is present for mechanical interlocking. See this knob carefully. When I try to trip the coil knob will go upwards. I am zooming in so that you can clearly see this. When I turn off this it comes to upward side. See again. When I turn on this it goes downwards. When I turn off it comes upwards. Means with the help of this we can trip our MCB. As you can see the lever of coil. If I push this upwards and try to push the knob upwards this coil will trip. Same thing happens in MCB. At the side of MCB you will find a cover. Remove this cover. After removing cover you have an option to mechanically interlock the coil. So I am going to mount the coil here. After mechanical interlocking if you turn on the MCB and try to push this knob downwards you will see MCB will trip. I am trying to show you more clearly. I am pushing this knob downwards so that MCB trips. You just saw when I pushed the knob MCB got tripped. We can take advantage of this by connecting the coil. Connect both the levers together and press from both sides. It will be mounted. You heard the knock sound which indicates the coil is perfectly mounted on MCB. Now I am providing input power supply to MCB. I connected both the phase supply as well as neutral supply. What you have to do now with the shunt coil, connect neutral power supply at one terminal. I am using this piece of wire, connect one end with neutral power supply of MCB and connect other end with one terminal of shunt coil. This is how connection must be done. In this second terminal of shunt coil you have to provide phase supply. You have to use this type of push button and the contact used below the push button must be NO contact means normally open. Connect one wire of this push button with output terminal of MCB where we get phase supply. In this terminal I receive phase supply so I connected wire here. The second wire of push button is to be connected with second terminal of shunt coil. This much connection is only required. Now if I turn on the MCB you will see this shunt coil also turns on. You can see port turns on together. This is happening because we interlock both of them together. If I press this push button our MCB will turn off. I am pressing this. You saw that on pressing push button MCB turned off. Watch one more time. I turned on this. On pressing the switch MCB turned off. Friends if you want to make on indication and off indication for MCB then you have to use this type of auxiliary contact. If you want to learn in detail how this auxiliary contact works then click on this right hand side video to learn. Thanks for watching this video.